Hey everybody, this is Cray Spartan here. Now, as you can see right here in front of you, this is actually not Halo. But it's Sunday that I'm going to be uploading this film or this video. And I just kind of want to make Sunday and anything goes Sunday. And if you may or may not know, I'm actually a photographer. Not by, you know, profession or anything, but I would say um, semi-professional. And I say semi-professional because if... Um, if you've been paid to because your photography is good enough for that and somebody actually paid you, I think that's pretty be professional, but it's not uh, my my professionalism is not exactly uh, a full-time income. It's just more or less a hobby type of thing. So I say semi-professional or uh, advanced hobbyist um, along the way. But one of the things I wanted to show you, which is actually pretty awesome, and that's half the reason I love photography, is because I tend to look at the world a little different. Now you see this photo right here in front of you. This is just a little junction box. Um, this is, was down in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, we were walking along and uh, just touring the shops and um, just doing what you do on vacation, you know, have a little fun, look at things. And probably about hundreds and hundreds of people walk by this little junction box every day but i saw it and i go there is a photograph right there so i get in there nice and close as you can see really close and i take the photograph and um people probably looking at me like what is he doing that is why is he taking a picture of that it just makes no sense but I looked at it and I saw, like I said, I saw a photograph. I saw these two awesome bright red um, indicators right here, just and they're symmetrical, um, just really cool little uh, wiring, and it looks, of course, a little rustic, a little bit of rust, and I personally like that kind of thing. I like older things. I like seeing things that are broken down because. To me, it just adds uh, a lot more character to whatever it is I'm looking at. But that's me. I saw it and I go, that is a photograph right there. So I'm just going to take you through a quick editing of this photograph. Now, I usually use Lightroom, uh, Adobe Lightroom. And it's, I do probably about 95% of my stuff in uh, Adobe Lightroom. Uh, sometimes I do use Photoshop, but it's generally for like cleaning up or... Um, anything like that but let's go ahead and do some quick selections here now I'm gonna just gonna increase my contrast a little bit uh, nothing too crazy I add a little bit of exposure not a lot because generally when I take a photograph I tend to underexpose um, because digital cameras have a really good uh, ability to uh, pull out shadows but they have a really bad ability to take out or fill in highlights or you really really bright spots so I just tend to you know go on the side of error and underexpose just a little bit now bring up my shadows just a little bit which fills in those areas and of course add just enough white now I'm actually gonna make this into a selective color photo and what I like to do is have a where the highlights are just barely just barely on the edge of um, losing all detail of course I want to make my blacks very rich so I bring my blacks up a little bit now there's actually two ways to do this uh, to make a black and white um, type of photo and I can just go click here and it's black and white but that's not particularly what I want um, I want to make this a selective color all right, just go ahead and add a little bit of clarity and add some vibrance. Now, vibrance here is actually kind of uh, adds a lot more punch to your mid-tones. Um, saturation is adds just a little bit because um, the way I kind of look at it is vibrance is kind of like a small hammer. Um, and then your saturation is more like your sledgehammer uh, when it comes to color. And I think I just got uh, actually a little bit too much. I just want to back that off just a little bit. All right. Going down here. And I will show you how I'm going to make this kind of a selective color. And like I said, uh, adjust my tones. My 
my darks and my uh, lights just a little bit. Get a nice little S curve going there. All right, now let's go ahead and convert this to black and white. And it's very simple what I do for selective color. Um, I go down here. This is my HSL, or the Hue, Saturation, or Luminance uh, tab. Now, I actually want saturation. That's what I want. As you can see, what I do here is I take down the saturation, and everything else gets really nice and gray. And back it off. Makes it nice and gray photo. And, you know, there it is. But no, you know, I don't particularly want, because there is still some red up here in the rust area, um, a little bit down there. And I actually want to increase that red saturation just a little bit. Um, but there it is. Like I said, it's quick and easy, but there is some extra stuff up here. So I do want to grab a brush, grab my adjustment brush, and I want to adjust the saturation down to zero and shrink the size there a little bit. As you can see, there is just a little bit. and It's actually still adjusted for an adjustment I'd made earlier where I was changing down the exposure. Just take that around and just hit up these little areas that might have a little bit of red in them. So I want that red to pop, especially against everything else. There we go. And I'm almost tempted to add that little bit of green back in as well. But I kind of already colored it, but... but there we go. Now, one other thing I like to do is, of course, uh, adjust it to like a more standard size, which is going to be like, like 5 by 7 And I'm going to shrink it up just a bit. Kind of like that little extra red on the bottom there. Yeah, that's what I like about it. I can just quickly adjust things. Um, yeah, just a little bit on the top, so it's not completely, you know, give it a little bit of space on the top. And there it is, guys. I mean, that's that's that simple to me. I like this photo. Um, it may not be for everybody. Whoops. I did forget one little spot here. I don't want you to have red. And right here is actually a little bit of reflection off the uh, um, off the wire. <laughs> there we go. And of course, the exposure was adjusted too. I've, one of these days, I'm going to have to adjust that and say, I want a new one. Yeah, this is actually just a little bit of reflection. Um, that's all that is. And there. Let me go ahead and click that off. And that's that's the end photo right there. And that's uh, that simple. And that's, like I said, that's why I love being a photographer, is I could see this, and it's, to me, I saw a photo. Many people probably did, and they probably walked by it. And that's uh, something I absolutely love. Um, and that's just a little bit about me, if you uh, know anything at all there, guys, about the old crazed. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little different than, of course, Halo gameplay or Destiny or whatever else I might play. But I'm kind of thinking Sunday, I might do just about anything I want. So it could be more photography. It could be, you know, World of Warcraft. Who knows? Um, it's just going to be some fun. All right, thanks for watching, guys. This is Cray Spartan, and I am out of here.